things don't float in air, we don't float in air. Yeah. So all the things that don't float in air keep going forwards, keep going and all forward, the things yeah. that do float in air keep yeah. going backwards. It's like a battle between buoyancy yeah. and acceleration. This vehicle was filled with water, and yeah. we're here with our aqua lungs, and one of us was dead fat and floated in water, yeah. and the other one was dead thin and sank in water. When you slammed on the anchors, the fat bloke, the fat bloke could go, go backwards. backwards, and the skinny <laughs> bloke could go forward still. We slam on the anchors. It's inertial force, which Newton would be like worried about. Yeah. That wants it to go forward, but it's kind of pressure force, which Archimedes would be bothered about. Yeah. It's wanting it to go backwards. Wow, I'd love to see those and two in a boxing get... ring. So Archimedes takes yeah. Newton. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> did you know that Isaac Newton invented the cat flap? I did actually. Did and you? I also think it's his greatest work <laughs> because I don't give a stuff about gravity and optics most of the time. But if my cat poos in the living room, yeah. I'm really annoyed. I bet his wife was happy. I bet his wife was overjoyed with it. <laughs> yes, very funny, boys. Except, of course, Newton never actually married. And if he had, perhaps the little woman at home would have told her genius husband he didn't have to make a separate cat flap for each of the kids.